So guys, new video. And guess what? I'm doing the five hole challenge again. To play the five first hole on my home course, check star, on par or better. And uh, yeah, I ripped my first tee shot straight in the fairway. Uh, you will see that later in the video. And uh, yeah, I got a new club today. I, uh, I will show you that when uh, I have to use it, but I love it. I bought it today. And I'm also testing a new ball. It's a top flight, I think, XL, XL distance. It was just outside of my door, I think in a bag. I think a neighbor gave it to me. I have seen me play a lot of golf. So I have to test it up against my regular Strixon Ultisoft. Yeah, enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, I appreciate if you check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you. So my tee shot, first tee shot from uh, hole one ended here, right in the fairway with my hybrid. And I got 138 meters to the middle of the green. So I'm going for a nice seven iron. And today I'm also testing a new ball. I think it was top flight, XL distance. So let's see if that give me some good scores. Uh, we are just to the left of the green. I hit the hill there, but I got a good bounce kick to the left, to the right. So I think we are close to the green. So, as I told you, I got a new club and my ball is in the rough just beside the green and pin high so perfect shot so it's a perfect lie for my new club and my new club is this one tailor-made high toe bigfoot 58 degree wedge so i'm going to try this one and get it close to the pin So, that was a great first shot with my new wedge. It felt really good, got it up in the air and uh, just by the pin here and we got a power putt to start this uh, challenge really good. So let's sink this. I'm gonna aim at the right end of the cup and it should drop. Oh yeah! So we start our five hole challenge with a par. Really happy with that and my new club. Let's go and do some birdies. So hole two and we are even Steven. 
We are at par. Now we got a short par 300 meters. You should know all these holes by now. But uh, yeah, the same hole, hole number two, par three. The flag is just in the middle of the bunkers. So I'm trying an easy, easy pitching wedge. I deft it a little bit, but uh, I think we are just in front of the green and we have a nice uh, par chance. Yeah, so we are just in front of the green, but I'm not sure which club I'm going to use. The safest shot is to use my putter. But I kind of feel like trying my new wedge to chip it. I have to think about it on the way to the ball. So I chose my new wedge, it wasn't the best outcome but it was a good shot, the shot was, it was so easy to hit the club, just through the grass and up in the air, Re really nice wedge, let me know if some of you is uh, playing that wedge, now we have to sink this for par. I think this is a little bit right edge and it should go in oh. good putt but It was a good putt, but I gave it a little much, much power, so we have a bogey. And then we have to do a birdie to get on par. Let's go! So we are at uh, hole 3, uh, 350 meters par 4 I think. Dog leg really to the left, so I have to hit my tee shot. 180 meters to get a nice view into the green but uh, the tees are moved way back so my camera didn't I couldn't put my camera back there so no shot tracer for this tee shot let's hope I can uh, carry it to the fairway Great shot, don't go in the bunker. I'm not sure, maybe we are in the bunker. It was a nice high shot, but uh, we have to go and check it out. And I have to say, I'm testing a new ball, a top flight. And it feels, when I use my hybrid, it feels really hard to hit. So uh, yeah, let's try it for some some more shots and uh, see if I like it to the end of the round. 
So I landed here. My tee shot was on top over there by the house, little house. And we are just by the bunker, so we are safe. I'm going to try and smash the hybrid to try and reach, get close to the green. So let's see if this, uh, this goes well. Yeah, so I'm going going hybrid. We got a nice lie here, so try to reach the left of the bunker over there. The left of the bunker, it's uh, 180 meters, I think. So I just have to go to give it all to try and reach the green. great length of the shot good distance but uh, again I duffed it so we have to work for a par and you get we get to try the new wedge so new wedge going to try and chip it close to the pin and land it soft it's an okay lie so I'm glad I'm not just <laughs> not in the bunker but uh, they have some new sand in the bunkers and they look really nice so but the best is to avoid them let's see if we can get a nice high flight to the ball and just get close no we can't i got it under the ball but I have to try it one more time, just to test it. So I'm doing a, I'm just doing a test shot to see. Yeah, let's see if I can do it. I have to test my new wedge a little bit. I do that on the first shot but uh, yeah this wedge just feels so easy to hit like I have no words uh, maybe I sh maybe the chipper is going out of the, my bag and I just use this so I think I'm going to try an uh, eight iron just to bump bump it up there and get it to, the, to roll near of the pin. And I have to work for a bogey, bogey here. I have to get this close and sink the putt. And the green is upward, so give it a little power. I think that's good. We have a chance for bogey, and that's. I need a bogey and two birdies, so let's go. So this needs to drop. It's. Uh, it's an. I think a ball over the right edge is a good line. So I'm going to try that. A little power, and it should drop. My putter is uh, it's warm today. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy with the putts. So let's go on and do a birdie. Birdie. So hole three. We are 
plus two, I think. So we need some birdies. Uh, I'm going for my hybrid. This is a par five. So uh, I'm going to just give it all I got and take it from there. I think we are just just off the fairway, but a good shot. But again, this ball, it's it's so hard when I it hit the face. It's so hard. I have to test it against uh, my normal uh, Ultisoft from Swixon and see. Yeah, let's go and chase a birdie. Yeah, so we are just. A meter off the fairway and I'm going for uh, I'm going for my six iron to get it on top of that hill and then we get a nice shot into the green if I can reach the top six iron a good shot but uh, we are not on top of the hill so let's see what we can do so I have to I really have to land the green for a birdie chance I got 140 meters to the middle of the green it's a little up uphill so I'm trying a smooth seven iron I topped the ball really good. This is a disaster. So we're not going to play it on par or better, but uh, let's finish this round and see if we can do some good shots. So I got 83 meters, 83 meters to the green, to the middle of the green. So yeah, I'm trying my new wedge to see how long it goes. I haven't tested the distances. Not been on the range, just took it out on the course. So let's see if we can reach the green. I think that's just by the flag. Not the best hit, but uh, the ball went really high. And I think we are on the green. Let's see how good the shot was. So, yeah, we have a par putt. Possible to make this one if this one's go in. And a birdie on the last, plus one. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, that club felt really good. But again, the ball, so hard to hit. Yeah, but let's drop this. We have to, it's getting dark. I have to wrap this up. Nice try, gave it a little much power. So let's hope we sink this for bogey. And we have a bogey. 
Yeah. I'll take a bogey on this hole every day, so let's go. So we are at the last hole, hole five. And we are plus three. Maybe we can get it to plus two. I'm going for a full five iron. I have to get it to the green and not to the left because then we have a problem. I also have to go and look for my uh, head cover to my hybrid. I think I lost it and it's getting close. <laughs> it's getting dark, I mean. So uh, yeah, let's wrap this up with a birdie. It's hard to see because it's getting dark, but it's short of the green. And again, this ball. Wow. So here I have my regular ball, the Srixon Ultisoft. Let's see if uh, it's a difference. Oh, bad shot, really bad shot, but a, a way difference in the ball. So uh, I do another shot just to test. We have to get a we have to get a nice hit to see, but I get I felt this one is really softer. So let. Let's get a nice hit in the middle of the club face. Oh, that's a difference. Not a good shot, but I hit the middle of the club face and I, I just didn't feel, I didn't feel like I hit the ball, but with the top flight, it hurt my hands. Wow, terrible ball. So I didn't reach the green, just some meters up there. I'm going to try and chip it with my new wedge. And maybe we can do up and down and save a par, I believe. I got it up there, it's on the dance floor, but uh, it's uh, uh, we can make that putt, so let's go. So let's uh, sink this putt for a great par and uh, finish with a, not finish with another bogey. Uh, it's long too. Come on. Just touch the ball. <laughs> Let's not do a double bogey here. Then I'll blame the ball. <laughs> oh, and that was a terrible hit. I <laughs> hit it there. So we finished the round with a double bogey. I'll ne I never do double bogeys here, but uh, let's blame the ball. So uh, yeah, we finished the round with, is it plus four? Plus five? I'm not sure. So uh, yeah, it was a good round. I had some nice shots, but uh, a little recap of the round is, 
the top flight ball is gone so uh, I don't recommend that ball and my new wedge my tailor-made high toe Bigfoot 58 degree wedge really love that so easy to hit and I think I'm going to drop my chipper and get full wedge set of uh, that wedge or the high toe high toe tree wedge I'm not sure but yeah enjoy this video and I hope you as a fellow mid high handicapper can relate to to my golf enjoy this and uh, subscribe to my channel give me some likes and another video is coming